Good day to you. My name is Glenn Hayward. I'm the owner, the proud owner of Good Works Auto Repair in sunny Tempe, Arizona. And today's mystery is the case of the missing cat. Catalytic converters are being stolen left and right, and owners are having to wait weeks to get a replacement. Well, thieves are at it like never before, stealing an essential piece of your car. Thieves targeting cars for their catalytic converters, leaving you with a pricey repair job. We've had a plethora. In the last few months, we probably put on 15 or 20 catalytic converters that were stolen from people's cars. So what happens is they turn on the key or push the button to start, and this is what they hear. And sometimes it gets worse because they think, oh, that sounded weird. So they start the car again. They wrap the pedal and they hear this. They say, oh my God, what's wrong with my car? I'm going to show you where the missing cat normally sits. So right in here, you can see on this particular pipe, they take a battery powered sawzall and they cut this with a metal blade. They cut this off. And then they unbolt this side of it. And then up in here, there used to be what they call the oxygen sensor and O2 sensor. They also usually either tear that out or cut it off. And in some cases, those wires, because it's a metal blade cutting the wires together, it will short out the computer. And sometimes the computer for the car has to be replaced and reprogrammed. A catalytic converter with an oxygen sensor and something like this can cost upwards of $1,800 to $2,200 depending on what year, make and model it is and what kind of vehicle it is. And if you have a large vehicle like a big truck with a huge catalytic converter, those can run three dollars to $4,000 to replace because the cost of the catalytic converter itself is nearly $3,000. What we do at Good Works and what the federal government and the state of Arizona has suggested that we do is take a heat proof paint orange to identify that this is a catalytic converter and then as you can see here we've actually engraved the VIN or the, the vehicle identification number on this catalytic converter so they know what kind of vehicle which means this was a legitimately installed cat so if we find it in the hands of someone who is not an, a, a certified installer we know that it's a stolen catalytic converter catalytic converter theft has become so prominent in our society today that there are companies that actually have developed different types of shielding material that can be attached to the bottom of the car. Now it's considered a deterrent because if they're going to have to cut through this first they're going to be there for a much longer period of time and thus a much higher chance for them to get caught. So they're going to pick what we call the low-hanging fruit. Someone goes to steal a cat on a car that has one of these they're going to stick their head under there look and they're going to say nope it's not worth it. This would be a great deterrent factor for a couple hundred dollars. If you don't have insurance that covers your catalytic converter, as many people don't, if they only carry liability insurance, or their claim uh, will be denied or not even entertained. So what you want to do is get one of these and have it installed as a deterrent to ever have it getting stolen. 